In this video, we're going to show you how to use Inspira, a digital assessment platform for running both in-term assessments and final exams at UNSW. We will cover how to access Inspira and the Inspira SharePoint site for students, navigate through your exam, respond if you have connectivity issues, and customise your setup for a better assessment experience. First, let's show you how to access Inspira. The simplest way is to log directly into Inspira for all your assessments and exams throughout the term. Type in this URL to get to the student login page. The link will also be available below this video. It's a good idea to bookmark this page to ensure faster access in the future. If you have any in-term assessments on Inspira, you have the option to access these through a link on your learning management system. Once logged in, you will see your assessments and exams under the My Tests heading. UNSW has created a Student Inspira SharePoint site to support you in completing exams and assessments on Inspira. Go to unsw.to forward slash Inspira hyphen student. This site contains everything you need to know about taking exams and assessments in Inspira both on and off campus. Be sure to read all the information thoroughly before completing an exam or assessment so that you're prepared if anything does go wrong. Download our handy Network Issues Guide. Try an Inspira demo test to see how Inspira looks and feels. Check whether your operating system and internet browser are up to date. Learn all you need to know about using Safe Exam Browser for on-campus invigilated final exams and access other UNSW sites and resources from the quick links on the home page. Navigating through Inspira is very simple. Once you're in the Inspira platform, you can see the details of your exam, including the exam title, the exam date and time, and the start button. On the top right, you will see the notification bell icon and messages icon. You can begin your exam by clicking on the start test button. The exam window will be in the following format. In the top left, you will see your ZID and more importantly, the time remaining to complete the exam. It's important that you are mindful of how long you have remaining. Once the time runs out, your answers will be automatically submitted. If you are taking an on-campus invigilated exam with Safe Exam Browser enabled, you will have to manually submit your answers. In the top right corner, you will see the connection status, notifications and menu. While you are online, your answers are automatically saved every 5 to 10 seconds. In the unfortunate event that your Wi-Fi network or internet connection is lost, there is no need to worry. You will be notified via a pop-up and on the bell icon. Please continue with your exam and answer all questions and do not close the browser. The timer will continue to count down to zero. Your assessment will be saved and submitted once network connection is regained. If the connection cannot be regained when you are finished, you will be prompted to download an encrypted file with your responses via the menu or the final submission screen. If the exam or assessment supervisors need to contact you, you will see a pop-up message on the top of your screen, which you can open by clicking the bell icon in the top right. In the top right menu, you'll see the following options. Contrast. This will allow you to adjust the contrast of the exam window. Text-to-speech allows you to select any text that you want to be read out loud. Press the play icon to hear the text you've selected. What is the color of the sun? Text size. This will allow you to adjust the size of the text on the screen. Save submission as file. This option is important in the case your network connection is lost, as it will allow you to download an encrypted copy of the exam. Simply click on the option and click Save Submission. This file will contain any responses to questions you made whilst offline. It is very important that when you do save the file, do not change the file name. For more information, please read the Network Issues Guide on the Inspira Student SharePoint site. Hide or show remaining time. This will allow you to choose whether to display the remaining time for the exam. Back to Dashboard. This option will take you back to the starting Inspira environment and you can review the status of questions attempted. 
it is important to note that the time remaining for your exam is not paused when you visit the dashboard during an exam. At the bottom of the page is a bar which shows a navigation of the questions and information pages. A blue bar will appear above each question or information page indicating you have attempted the question or viewed an information page. Ideally, you want a long blue strip at the bottom once you have completed the entire exam. Answering questions is intuitive on Inspira. Click on the arrows to navigate between questions or click on the number to jump to it. On the bottom right of each question is a maximum mark. For some questions like multiple choice, there is a reset button to remove your response on the bottom left. Some questions will have several tools to format your response. A word count will appear in the bottom right for essay questions. For questions that require a PDF upload, simply click on Select File to upload and select your file. You can click on Download to ensure that your file was uploaded correctly. This way, you can be certain that your file has been received and securely stored on Inspira's servers. You may revisit any questions to change your responses if you are within the exam window, have not finished your test yet, and if this option is enabled by your teacher. Once you have completed the exam, click on the check mark on the bottom right corner or click the arrow from the last question. You will then land on the submission page, which outlines all the questions and information pages of the exam and the tab of the questions you have not attempted. You can click on any question to jump to it and answer the question or change your response. Students can submit their exam using the Submit and Return to Dashboard button. Thanks for watching. All the best with your assessments and exams.